how to seduce your partner in the bedroom. There are so many ways that you can add yourself and some extra spice in the bedroom without having to really go for heavy toys or anything. All you need is yourself, a bit of music and some nice outfits. Why don't you prepare for a lap dance for your partner, for a striptease? You don't even have to touch your partner if you do a striptease to turn him on. And the best thing is, this works the best when you're turned on yourself. If you can like really get into it and feel sexy and <sighs> seductive, that's when the magic's gonna happen. How could you make a really nice striptease for your partner? It's not so complicated. I'm going to explain to you how you do it today and um, if you want uh, you can have some assignments on how to create a really nice striptease for your partner. And by the way this is not just for women, this is for men too. I'm going to give you tips for both. Um, I really like this also uh, to do the, if you're in a if you're in a dominant submissive in a power exchange relationship this is also very powerful because it's actually a way of creating kind of show for your dominant to really seduce them, to really show them what they own, to really give them, I don't know, the evening of their lives, the night of their life. How do you do it? If you think like, I'm, I'm not a good dancer, here's the trick. You don't need to be a good dancer. Because think about it yourself. If your partner would do a strategy for you, and your partner is not a good dancer, would you still enjoy it? Probably, right? Yeah. And, and so will he or she when you're doing it for them. But you can still make it very interesting for them. And it's not very complicated. The trick is in the preparation. It's really adding something if you feel confident. Also what you're giving is so much more. And your partner will love it more, and you will feel you. You will see how sexy you are if you dare to move. And it's. I mean, I'm going to show you a few moves, a few simple tricks on how you can pre perform a really awesome striptease for them without having to follow dance classes or something. Now, here's the trick: you start with preparation. Find a piece of music that you really like and that really keeps your sexy moves going. You know, when you're going to the dance floor and you think like, ooh, if that song goes on, then I'm going all the way and you can really let it go, you can surrender into the music. That's the type of music that you're looking for. What type of music do you want for your performance? And think about also the type of sphere that you want. I mean, if you're really, I mean, if you take Dirty from Christina Aguilera, it's that spicy, steamy, like really going all the way. But maybe you're more for the like the really subtle moves, um, um, and, you, and you're not really like outgoing or something. And then, for instance, Fever might be wonderful. It's one of my favorites. Or you can leave your hat on. I like it a bit more jazzy, a bit more bluesy. That's the type of music that I like, and that I also know that my partner likes. So I would I would something look for something like that. Then you need to pick your outfit. Now, I wore something very specific. Look. This. I love heels. Heels make me feel sexy. They, I love to make the moves for it. I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm going to show you. Like, see? It's not so complicated, but it already looks fun just because you make one slow move and you have heels on. So in a way, your clothes can really make or break your performance. Clothes is not just what you wear. Uh, I mean, it's not just what makes you feel sexy. Uh, there's one other thing that's very important, and that's about, if, especially if you want to perform a striptease. If you're doing a lap dance, you're not doing anything like taking off clothes or anything, it's not so special, but... Um, uh, I, I once uh, did a striptease and I was wearing very tight leggings 
and I really struggle to take them off. If I have this pants that I'm wearing now and I need to take those off, it's not going to look sexy. So better to do is uh, the stockings, of course, especially. I mean, I know that garden bells are beautiful and I, they look spectacular. But if you're not really handy with taking them off, I would suggest to leave them for the... Um, uh, for the striptease and not take those. So just take your stockings, take stockings that are like self um, gluing. <laughs> I don't know what the exact English word is for that, but they, those are those stockings that just, just take them and they stick to your legs without having to wear a garter belt. It may not look that sexy, to be honest. I think it will be. Uh, that would be perfect and that's pretty easy to take off. The same goes if you're wearing shoes like those. You see, there is a tiny little uh, buckle here that I need to undo, and it's totally fine. But if I have something like that, make sure that you practice how to take them off. Because you really don't want to stop in the middle of your really sensual moves, and you're about to take off your shoe, and then suddenly you have to like, oh, how oh, oh, does this work? If, if that's the case, and you're not sure if you can do that, then take a few pair, take a pair of heels that is uh, that is just like it doesn't have any straps or anything. Maybe this is for seducing men as a woman, but I know there are also quite a few men who would love to do this something on heels. And if you're going for a sissy for a sissy trip, this is also fantastic. Um, my biggest advice is, especially if you're if you're going to walk a bit during your um, your striptease. Make sure that you find heels that are comfortable enough to walk straight on it. Find shoes that are comfortable for you. And yes, you can still do a very sexy uh, striptease when you're walking flat shoes. Absolutely. Just find something that makes you feel sexy. I love to wear layers. Um, you know that I usually don't wear bras. When I'm doing a striptease, I will wear a bra. <laughs> yeah. Just because it's an extra layer. I, I just love it that I can... Uh, that I can just take something off and there are still still nothing is exposed. I mean, then you can see the first time it like, I mean, I, I, if I would do like a really striptease and I would like really prepare for it, I would take several songs and for each song I would really take my time and then I, I would start with like a fur coat or something and then just take that off and then under it is a blazer and under this is a shirt and under this is like a tiny lace thingy and under that there is still a bra i would have a lot of fun with that and you know what it's not really relevant what your partner thinks about it because if you have fun they will have fun the same goes if you're a guy wearing a suit it can be just amazing take then take one with a belt it's just an extra thing take a like like the, the small it's called poche in in, in, fra, in french i'm not sure if there is an english word for it we're using in Holland, we use the, the French word. Take one of those. A tie, of course, you're gonna wear a tie. I mean, <laughs> yeah, really. If you want to turn me on, go uh, go put on your, uh, your suit with a tie, do your hair nicely. That's wonderful. So now we have covered, we have covered the music and we have covered the clothes. Think about what kind of moves you want to do. Now, here's a few tips on how to do it. A striptease doesn't need big gestures, it doesn't need like turning around all the time, especially when your heels, that can be quite challenging to do that in a reel. Practice it in front of the mirror, look how it looks. But you know what? Uh, there, are, there are a few tips on how to make a striptease look very sexy. One of them is make your movements slow. If you do like this, and you make it slow on the music, this is already giving a very sensual vibe and it's enough. Uh, if you do like this, it's too fast and it's, I mean, it can still be like very, very awesome. And if you're a very good dancer, it's fantastic. But if you're an amateur, I would stick with slow. Slow is sensual. Slow is also giving you more confidence. It's giving you more control over your movements. Make sure that you put your emphasis on the things that you are proud of, show your assets, so to say. If you have beautiful breasts, show it like that. And it doesn't have to be very complicated. It can be like this. 
I love my hands. I think I have beautiful hands. So I love playing with my hands and doing like this. And then just when you're doing that, feel your one hand touching your other hand. It will, it will increase your sensuality, your sex drive, your how you feel about it. You will feel sensual. So slow movements and use your hands to go over your body. Show them what your assets are. Your hair is wonderful to play with. You can just like throw it backwards, throw it one side, the front and then. This is nice. You don't have to do anything. And trust me, you can also do a striptease. You can do that sitting. So even when you're in a wheelchair, it's perfectly possible to do a fantastic striptease. Just make sure that whatever you're wearing is covering you're not sitting on it unless you can still stand up. Give yourself some practice. And don't forget to have fun and play with passion. Now, I made you a few assignments with this. Uh, from now on, I'm going to make videos and with a specific topic and you're getting three assignments with it. It's, an assi it's a kinky assignment. That's, that's just an assignment for one evening of epic fun and playing and some chili, really spicy fun in the bedroom. Uh, the second one is a kinky ritual. So I'm going to give you something that you need to execute for a week. Every day you're going to do that. No matter if you're a woman or a man, if you're um, together or even you can do it even single. It's made for couples, but this is definitely something that you can also do when you're alone. And the third one is a game. I'm going to give you a game with that. Now that's, that's, that's a specific combination. I'm going to give you a really good deal with it. So just click on the link below and you can uh, you can have it and you can have a lot of fun with it. So have fun and play with fashion.